Hey, what is up YouTube? Thank you for joining me again. Today, I'm here to show you some new ant colonies that I obtained. So, here's the old colony that I have. Well, not old, because I've only had them for about a month and a half now. But, first I'll do a update on them. So, they're doing well. Let's see, there's one of the soldiers there. Everything's going good for them. All those eggs have hatched and the majority of them have turned into pupa, so now there's a humongous pupa pile next to their massive queen. With these ants, they've become a lot more comfortable with the, with the top of their nest. I've come to see that these ants, they're very calm inside their nest. They don't move too much, but when they do, they're always doing interesting things. The most they tend to move is when they capture a new prey insect that I've put in there for them and bring it in, and then all the soldiers come to take it apart. But yeah, so you can see it's not much movement going on, and I would say that's one of the only drawbacks to having these ants. So now... If I go on to the new colonies that I can show you. So here I have a Laceous Niger Queen. The Black Garnet is a common name. So the queen here, I caught her in her stage where she was in her claustral cell. She didn't have any anonytics. She just had a few eggs and I made sure to capture those with her as well. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a pupa there, and I didn't catch her with a pupa, just a few eggs. I actually brood boosted her with two pupa. So there's one of the pupa. They Neither of them have hatched yet, but I thought that that would help. If you see down there, there's some eggs right in the middle of the screen. Next is my big headed ant colony. So there's the queen right there. And I brood boosted this colony as well. This colony originally had three ninnit ticks and a few eggs. That's when I caught them. And I brood boosted them with a lot more pupa. And in about a week's time, going, they went from three workers to about 18. And so they have major workers now, which usually don't come for a very long time. You probably have noticed them, like, get a better angle. Like, there's a major right there next to the queen. Yeah, still pretty light colored. You could tell this worker just declosed. So that's a plus. They'll be moving into a new habitat that I made for them. So if you look right over here, this is an insert that I have for this terrarium so you just stick the insert inside and then inside you'll be able to see them inside of their nest cavity but sadly after I made this I realized that there wasn't much floor space it was mostly chambers that were tall and not a lot of places to store stuff so I'm gonna make them another one another nest insert. I'll probably come up with a tutorial on how to make these if you want to do it for your own captive colony. And here's the new one right here. I'm still waiting for the concrete to solidify. But yeah, I'll make a tutorial on that to show you. Now if I go on to these Solenopsis, Solenopsis Invicta Queens that I caught. So I caught um, I caught four, and you might say, well, AJ, 
there's only three in here. Well, these three kind of turned on another one of the queens, and they killed her and beheaded her. And I had to take her body out, but these three seemed to get along very well. And this is something that would naturally happen as the ants didn't get along. And so you can see there. And you might wonder, what's the advantage of having a three queen colony? This colony is going to go three times as fast as a normal Solenopsis Invicta colony, which is the imported fire ant. Sorry about that. So next, I'll go on to these ants. These are very mysterious ants. I'm not sure what kind they are, but I got them from inside a piece of wood. So these ants are absolutely tiny. Just to give you some reference. So if you saw how big these guys were, if I... So I'll do it with my pinky. So this is my pinky. And this is how small the ants are. So if you can see that little worker back there. It's probably even too small to focus in on. But that worker on the top and about the middle of the screen. That worker is an adult worker. And then there's some pupa and eggs and larvae to the right of it. And there's two queens and then one more worker so I'm hoping to grow this colony out because I'm not even sure this colony might even be a new species considering that these ants are tiny I'd say the worker is like a millimeter in length absolutely tiny so if I move on to another colony set this down for you guys this is my another one of my Solenopsis Invictus this is a two queen colony their brood is a little bit more advanced in the stages of development. Get some focus. They don't have just like eggs. They have more larva going into the pupa stages. And I keep them in this, which is not a test tube setup. But it seems to do the trick. So I'll put the top back on them, and I open all these daily to recirculate fresh air. Switch down one more time. And last but not least, actually, these ants are pretty least. <laughs> these ants are tiny as well. Not quite as small as this undetermined species right here. But they are tiny too. These are called the little black ants. I have five queens and then probably 25 workers. So they currently moved into their outwell because they're so small they like found a spot underneath the log. And they moved in there. So these are the workers and now if I put, this is my pointer finger. My pointer finger next to this ant. You can see how tiny it is. And this is inside of a little glad container, which is attached is where they were previously nesting inside this test tube setup. And then they moved into the outward, which was unintentional. I guess they like it there better. And then they moved all their garbage and pebbles and stuff from the outworld into there. Anything that didn't like. So that's them. They have five queens. So I'm hoping that they'll get pretty big pretty fast. Not size-wise, but members wise yeah so those are my ant colonies now so that is one two three four five six seven colonies and I'll be posting another update video oh, look at the worker coming on out I'll be posting another video on this new setup that I'm making for a new nest module to put inside instead of this one but this one I think I might keep it just if I ever need it to use it again and all you have to do is just stick it back inside but I'll see alright with the shot of my original colony
All right. Peace out, YouTube.